I'm setting the uh, the girders for the bridge. It's sitting on the concrete there. We've got one set and we're getting ready to set the middle girder. We're strapping up to it now. I've got some help from the fellas here from the park. They're so kind to give me a lot of help. I'm sure they appreciate it. Little? I think I can push it. Yeah, it's got the this this right here yeah, is my control. Right at the edge of the concrete. Yeah. Oop. It's sliding. I couldn't it in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get it. I'm good. You like it? Is that good? Right on the edge. That's what we want. Let me get that dirt out of the way there. Well, we got the girders on, and I've already got the L brackets, the anchors, anchored into the concrete and bolted into the, the girder itself. It's been a really, really, really hot day. After we got the girders set pretty close where they needed to be, you can see there's a, a treated 2 by on the bottom of it, and we kind of used that for the control, and we pulled diagonals from corner to corner. And we made sure that we had it square. A couple of the guys here at the park helped me with that. And I appreciated their help so much. So now I will go back to the sawmill. I had intended on putting four by six floor joists across. But I'm not going to do that with the third girder in the middle. I'm going to run another joist down through here. My floor will be two by six cedar and it's 27 inches between the girders in the clear and I really don't want to let the cedar span that much it will just work to serve as a joist just to give that a little bit more support in between the girders there to take some of the flex out of everything I'm putting in the extra joist down through there I'm screwing it in with three and a half inch torque screws everything's screwed together pretty tight and I put a double I made a header across there and doubled that up. I still have to give me some uh, joist hangers and put on the, these joists. Give them a little bit more support, but I think that will carry the red cedar. It's 27 inches between the, the girders, and that's a little bit more than I want to span with that red cedar. It's not the strongest wood. I usually put it on 16 inch centers on the joist when I use it for a floor or a porch or a deck. I'll get this other one in and then I'm going to call it a day. It's like 102 degrees in the shade and that's 102 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm putting a little hanger piece on there just to help me hold that up while I'm screwing it off.
Now I'll get the center on that. Ninety two and five eighths heavy. Those close quarters here. Got her on the mark there. Bits are getting worn. Let's see, that's 27 and an eighth. Yep. Two and three quarters a little bit light. It's got them in. I'm ready to put the cedar floor down now, but that'll be tomorrow. I'm putting the floor on now. These are the two by six cedar that I sawed, and I'm just screwing on the ends, and I'm not sinking the screws in because some of these I'll have to take back up, like this one right here, because there's a post that sits right there, and then I'll cut up against it and fix a block on the inside of the girder for the the two by six to actually rest on. And right in this area here, I have the knee brace that comes down that'll come up to the post, and I'll have to fit around that also. I've laid this out from the end. You can see my marks. These are six and an eighth of an inch apart. And if the board is a little bit narrower or a little bit wider, I can keep it on a layout by just bringing the, this edge here to that line and if I need to, I can go back and run a skill saw through. This one here is a little bit wider. I can open this gap up just a little bit and make it look a little bit more uniform. Now it's very possible that these boards will shrink a little bit more in this heat. As I've said, it was 102 degrees in the shade and that's just about like that right now. It's pretty hot. We're starting to put the post up. We've got one up there. I had to take out some of the boards where the mortises are here. 
when I put these boards down, I just ran them across there and I'm taking the ones out. I'll have to cut them back and put some blocks under there for it to, to hold the edge up and also where all the braces go. I'll have to take some boards out, but I've got these out so that we can at least get the post in right now. I'm just plumbing them one way and the braces that go in at the bottom will hold the post plumb. But for now, I'm just plumbing it in and out, I guess is the way to put it. Yeah, this is the inside. That's the top, and this is the inside. Okay. pretty good all right I'll get another brace okay thank you thank you yep I'm just gonna toenail one into the the girder there Yeah, I'm only coming over about a half inch from that. You okay back there? Yep, I'm good. Okay, this is the inside where my right thumb is. She went in. Let's see. I might need to put that on the other side. That's fair. That's yeah, because I've got to... It's not going to work over here. I don't want to get down there in the river. Okay, this is the outside. outside. Now this thing took a bow this way and this way. Look at there. This is going really easy. Damn it. I can't imagine you trying to do this by yourself and level with it. Well, I'm, I'm sure that you've done it before. Yeah, but. it's not fun. But I have to have done it. I think I'm going to have to put that on the inside on this one. Yeah. yeah. I may have to put a little, I think a wheel. 
put a little brace down on that. Get this on. Yeah, I think I can just come off of this one. Just something like that. Let's see, we'll need to put that on the outside, I think. There, there went the water. It left. Now this has got water in it too. Did you get wet? No. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not much. Yeah. Let's see, I think I can put that one on that side. I haven't spoiled your fun and make it go so fast. Oh, I appreciate the help. Oh my gosh. I appreciate it. You like it? Up good there. Yeah. 